Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to share a sort of a level up game uh, where I managed to bid you a new go, but unlike the previous times uh, I could do that, like when you bid in it like a couple of points or maybe mostly 20 points or something, but when it actually resigned uh, because you've captured so many groups and you know, if you try to play versus Gene, you go with a Q level uh, thinking. It's quite annoying, and since it's a computer, um, it just calculates better. It better understands the um, like uh, timing, uh, where better to go for influence, where it's time to capture some territory. It's not. Um, it doesn't make mistakes when it calculates the certain variations, like capturing races, um, semi eyes, or uh, life and death, etc. So it's quite accurate in those. So if you just try to, you know, uh, do the basics like uh, taking the corners, taking the size, playing Josekis, and then just trying to develop towards the center, Gene Hugo does all that, but better than you if you are uh, a Q level player. However, if you're a Dun level player, you would not be uh, doing those abstract things. Well, you would, but. Uh, you would also be trying to uh, attack and kill uh, groups, kill large groups, big dragons. So this is what Catago is absolutely fantastic at, what makes it so strong. So uh, it may ignore the basics for the sake of the particular uh, profits, let's say that it can it can get from the position. And uh, I was playing many games versus Gene Hugo uh, recently, and I was wondering, like, uh, the strategy that I'm applying, that like this Q-level thinking, I'm ninth Q at OGS, so for those of you uh, who is interested. And Gene Hugo is rated around 8th, uh, 7th uh, Q sometimes at OGS. But Gene Hugo... Like if I if I take moves back, if I search for a better strategy, yes, I can bid it. But if I uh, just try to play a regular game without take backs, uh, then Gene Hugo essentially always wins. So I was thinking, yeah, like how can I prevent that? I I I did understand that you know this win, I really need to just find its weaknesses. And what's the done level thinking uh, all about? So. Catego demonstrate that when he plays versus Gene Hugo. So what is really interesting is that uh, after watching uh, several games how Catego crushes Gene Hugo, I try to mimic what Catego does uh, in terms of like um, the essence behind it, trying to attack groups and uh, like thinking more generally and essentially just kills everything and Gene Hugo resigns after. So I just want to show you... Uh, uh, an example game, we'll now play a game like Catego vs. Gene Hugo. Catego is going to be playing black, Gene Hugo white. And then I would show you my own game. Uh, well, the games might be different, so uh, just to make sure, I'll probably uh, consider the same for Saki as... Uh, okay, so I just want to... Let's detach the engines for now. I want to, to use the same for Saki as that one that was used... Uh, in the game that I've played, to, to show you sort of similarities. So, uh, there was, oh, no, 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 not like this. There was like um, this kind of a Saki, and uh, I was playing black and I won this game. And, but before that, I want to show you how Gene Hugo is going, uh, how Catago would go into bid uh, Gene Hugo. So, Catago is going to be playing as a black player. Okay, and Gene Hugo is going to be playing as white. So, yes. And now I start the match. So, 3-3. Uh, three, three. I did similar. And so far, the game is very similar to what we've played. Well, uh, although Catago has uh, gone a little bit different way, uh, like, started developing territory from the other side. But anyway, anyway... Uh, it's not yet seen. Uh, well, we have a classical Joseki in the lower right corner. Um, but already, uh, you have a look at, at this group. So this group, well, after this move, this group is essentially a candidate to be a dead group. And 
all this uh, Black's influence may soon turn into Black's territory. So that's the idea. So he finds the weak group and he starts attacking that group. Yeah, another safety move, like just to make sure that it would never escape. And I was using something somewhat similar to uh, like what Junior Go did in here. So yeah, now I should, okay, so this move uh, looks for uh, getting the entire corner and even more. And if, it's, if it won't be capable of getting the corner, then it would just try to surround uh, this, this kind of territory. That's just my assumption, but, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, probably after this... Uh, oh, no, well, not really. Yeah. So why should connect? Yes, why should connect? Because otherwise this would have been lost entirely. Still, Junior Go is trying to attack, but pr probably after this... Yeah, so this is bigger. This is essentially bigger. Okay, now securing the corner. Now I guess uh, this might be a subject to an attack, as well as this stone. So Junigo should play somewhere in this area, or maybe in this area. That's my assumption. Okay, so yeah, Junigo is trying to big, uh, just trying to build a big moyo in the center. But yeah, okay. Uh, another bad news. So this group is going to die. Trust me. This is going to die. Genu uh, Kataka is going to kill this Genu Ghost group. Even if it doesn't kill it, uh, it's very like limited, and uh, the influence towards the, towards the center is fantastic. But I think it would just kill it, essentially. It's for now. This uh, this is still alive, but yeah. Okay, this is another uh, candidate for a dead group. This one. Okay, it seems like uh, Katago is really going to kill now. Yeah, because if it kills, this is going to be really huge, right? Again, yes, just just like we mentioned, so another candidate for a dag rub here. Okay, and even more. So probably these tactical cuts are not worth much. So yeah, um, probably not worth much. And after... Something is done here, probably even this is going to be captured either. Uh, so if Junior Go plays something like... So, well, th this doesn't seem to survive locally, although... Oh, this doesn't seem to be a good move. Yeah, so this is now... should This now should be dead. Oh my goodness, what have you done? Oh, Junior Go is playing so horribly. And now this group is a subject for an attack, you see? So it's not trying to instantly kill it, but it's just building the sort of an influence so that later it can just go like this, maybe. If that's not a low, then just grabbing the half of the board is good enough. But yeah, just like I mentioned, it's really, you see, like it's trying to, uh, it would now probably play the honey here. Oh, even this, this is even better. Yeah, because, yeah, this is just, just better. And yeah, you see, like, this group is going to be captured now. So that's the idea. You just find the weak group, and you attack the wig group, and that's how you can crush and win. So, I would say that Katago and Gene, you go playing two different games essentially. So, yeah, just like Q level games uh, differ from the Dun level games. Okay, so yeah, all this is now entirely dead. Yes, this this is dead. So. <laughs> essentially Katago kill almost everything. So I'm showing you this guy just to give an idea like uh what Katago is trying to do. So it's trying to yeah um it's trying to dominate all over the board. All right. And yes, I guess uh he would just leave this area. Uh, I think Jin Yugo is going to resign quite soon. Uh also maybe trying to cut Cut off this one might be might be possible, but yeah, probably Katago would give Jin Yugo this little area, and the rest would be uh, Katago's territory essentially. Yeah, so yeah, this is very severe. Well, obviously, uh, as a human player, handling all this life and death might be a problem, and yeah, really should be like. Not not that trivial, but yeah, since Katago does not make mistakes, so uh, essentially, yeah, you see, like Black was plus three point five, even if uh, all white groups are alive, but they are not alive, for sure, they are not alive. So this should be killed now, yes, and 
Yeah, this this is still looks very this still looks very dead. Well, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and finally, yeah, Jun Hugo resigns. So, uh, if we estimate the score, yeah, uh, this the built-in estimator does not show that this is dead as well as this is dead. But even as well as this is also obviously dead. Uh, well, it may try, but you know. But even even if we uh, just consider uh, this territory, it's already plus 40 points. Can you believe this? But essentially, if we also uh, take this as uh, as a dead group, and, and I believe that Jin Yugo has resigned because this he considers this dragon to be dead. I'm pretty sure about this. Uh, as well as this one, okay? And as well as this one. Well, this might be arguable, but essentially, essentially, so Katago has taken almost everything, and Jin Yugo just managed to make a few points down below here. So that's the idea. And yeah, you see how crushing it is? And what is interesting that when you're playing Jin Yugo, because of the algorithm that it's using, which we can quickly walk through as well after I show the game, uh, we can make use of the weaknesses in the algorithm and crush it in a style just like the Katago does. Okay, so now let's open the uh, game that I've played. So I was playing black. Okay, Jin Yugo plays white. You see, like, the opening is quite similar. It's absolutely similar, but Katago went this side. Uh, probably that's, that's better because, yeah, like... Mm, building this to two wings uh, in theory but I went this this way and uh, now uh, starting from the next move I'm already uh, sort of turning on the category type thinking or maybe maybe that can be called the down level thinking so I'm thinking like okay so this group is strong right so it should like live in the corner uh, it just develops uh, towards the side that's great. Uh, these corners are absolutely uh, not non, non settled yet. But is there a target for an attack? I was wondering, and I, I was thinking like, yeah, this seems like a target for an attack. So the next move I made uh, is like serving the following purpose. So I want to build the wall, and I want to surround this uh, this stones. So by the time I would be uh, building say, some shape, I would just be smarter and I just grab everything everything so uh, this is what is happening and again uh, the next move this move is interesting because I, I did, did realize that it would just play this uh, card and would capture my stone but this is only one eye and I thought okay I would give him one eye but I would not allow him to live uh, further on so I just let him uh, take uh, this tiny little stone and then put then I'm putting even more pressure on this. So you see, like, oh, this group is sort of getting into trouble. So I'm not thinking about uh, enclosing the corner, developing towards the side, uh, trying to approach to opponent's corner, things like that, that I would have considered as a ninth Q at OGS, like whatever Q player would consider that sort of, a, uh, sort of an approach. It would just leave this group as is and say, like, okay, so I got some territory here. So maybe I just try to put some territory here. But that thinking leads to losing to Jin Yugo. So, um, uh, well, this move was probably a little bit uh, too, I don't know, uh, maybe I should have played something more abstract, like a jump here. But anyway, I, want, I thought that, okay, I just cut everything, and th th this, this, is, this is going to be good enough for the opening anyway. And I, I essentially I go for this. And then I realized that... Uh, Interestingly, um, I, I was trying some different variations. I didn't manage to do this from the very first time, so I was taken back for sure. But uh, again, this was the test for a certain type of strategy that works perfectly well. So uh, one of that time was to cut immediately, but that didn't uh, lead to a success. So peep instead. Okay, and what did we achieve by doing this? We have, you see, like this uh, starts being a dragon essentially with only one eye and by the time i'm chasing this group i can meanwhile build some territory so i'm building some ter territory absolutely for free 
And also I'm developing the influence towards the center with this group. Well, not yet, but it would uh, it would be soon, like starting from this move, let's say. So he's trying to build a shape and I'm instantly trying to break the shape, okay? And again, I'm trying to surround here, all right? So he cuts, but that's fine. He cuts uh, another stone, but this is still fine. He cuts another stone, and you might be wondering, like, yeah, um, this didn't quite work, uh, but, yeah, we keep playing. Anyway, um, what what did Black achieve so far from the opening? So Black has some territory on the bottom, and also quite a nice influence toward the, towards the center. And look at these three stones uh, forming a triangle. Uh, so this sort of grips the entire board, and... Uh, so here I just play the Joseki move uh, because again um, I just want to like stay connected, like having a single grip essentially. Okay, now I'm, now I limit the scope of this group, so we have another target for an attack. So if he's not careful, this one, and again, uh, you see, like again we have uh, this the target for an attack. Even even if this group lives uh, lives, it doesn't matter. So we just building some influence and yeah so absolutely different thinking uh as compared to the like q level thinking that i usually use when i <laughs> lose all of my games yes okay so he keeps going here and uh another pip okay uh so he just he protects and now i'm thinking okay so you got one eye here but what about this eye maybe uh if this eye is removed, uh, so to make it an eye, you essentially need to play how many? Two, two more, uh, not really, not, not even two more moves. Essentially, like, yeah, even if this stone is here and this stone is here, but black stones are here, this is not a real eye. So after this move, after this move, so if, if white played here, then yeah, this would have been an eye. But after this move, so I've realized that Definitely, like once and forever, white has an eye here. So maybe I can question if this is if this is an eye, and it turns out this is not quite an eye. Okay, so after this move, there is no more an eye over in here because yeah. So he can make a co here, a co here as well, but essentially this this is no longer an eye. So white only has one eye, and now you see like. There are not that many places where white can run. One can, white can try to make an eye a living shape uh, in here, like try to make another eye in here. So that's another uh, thing to bear in mind. But anyway, so this move is, is interesting because on the one hand it limits this group, which is the subject for insect. On the other hand, it just splits these two groups. So if these two groups, this group and this group connects together, uh, that would be good for white. But So I don't want that to ever to happen and again so white is approaching the corner and again if i usually if i just play like the josaki here i may lose the very um uh the very main point uh, of the position so i keep the attack i'm trying to limit whites as much as i can so now this this stone look is looking for playing here next and try to do it trying to capture this stone and make this entire area to be white's territory. So to prevent that, I play a uh, double space, uh, like one space jump, all right? So this essentially, if I'm playing black, this may <laughs> live, yeah, for sure. But uh, anyway, so I keep limiting the space for this group and now it doesn't seem that it has two eyes. It has some space to make two eyes. So mostly one eye to be, to be made. And essentially where this group is going to escape. So it needs to go for some complicated fighting in, in, in this area, potentially, maybe cutting here. Uh, I don't know. Yes. So, but why does not see that? We'll uh, see the moment. Why exactly is that happening? Why, why exactly is that happening? So why thinks that maybe he's just okay here and... He just thinks, okay, so there is a weak stone, and I can grab the corner, and that's good. But uh, every next move I make, so I'm, I'm completely giving up this corner, because I think that, okay, if I capture all this, and if I capture all this, then I don't pretty much care about this at all. So I can sacrifice this for sure. And another key move that uh, sort of doesn't allow 
why to make a one space jump to potentially make an eye shape uh, in the bottom edge of the board. Okay. Now, just to make sure the white is not going to cut anywhere, then white is making an eye here, but that's only one eye. So just, um, I was trying to play here first, but then uh, white escapes through the elephant's eye and that leads to complications and essentially this group leaves. Lives. Uh, so, uh, because if white plays here, I don't care, I still can make a co and, and hopefully win that co and still kill the group. So just limiting the scope of the group entirely. Okay, and... Next move, uh, well, I thought that I wasn't, when I was playing the game, I wasn't quite sure that would literally kill all this, right? So I thought maybe I should play some normal go, Q level go, <laughs> try to reduce, try, trying to do something I used to. So I play this move, this shows a hit. And, well, essentially, uh, I just build a shape here. And uh, I managed to get even more territory seemingly for free and after this move interestingly i decided that okay i, I can give up this moyo but what if i try to live uh well I, I wasn't i wasn't oh sorry oh no way um uh yeah so here uh I first I protect my Moyo. You still can like uh, attach here and try to infiltrate into my Moyo. But anyway, uh, then this move uh, is just like trying to make a ladder uh, and ladder would favor, although ladder favors black, but still I don't really want those complications because many cuts may arise after. So I just protect this. Okay, now white uh, does this move, which yeah, should have probably should have honey here just to limit the scope. So I have some time to make a shape for potentially for one eye. So it's not yet alive, it's most likely one eye here. But yeah, white for some reason, instead of just playing this move and quest stop questioning this group, this group's uh, uh, living capabilities, it just plays, uh, just trying to build a box on the side instead. So I'm not wasting my time, so I just uh, now, I'm almost uh, sure that I can make a living group in here. Uh, but white is probably happy because it has this this huge territory here. But uh, it turns out it's not enough. And even after after this move, he should have just cut, I think. Uh, he didn't do that, though. Um, so after a few more moves... Yeah, th this, this is getting interesting. So white is uh, trying to... Uh, enlarge its moyo. But meanwhile, what is white trying to do? White is trying to connect to this group, and if he manages to win that, that would not be great. So I need to stop that. And now, one last chance for white, so probably white uh, understand that uh, it sort of can be killed. Uh, probably uh, closing this elephant's eye would be a better thing, because going here might not be that dangerous, Although, but, but I play this one. So, yeah, since I don't think that Genu Go thought that this group can be is of a dead, so he played some strange move here. And after this move, this huge dragon is officially dead, as well as this part. So, if we have a look at the S score estimation at this point, uh, yeah, although score estimation doesn't, <laughs> doesn't consider this group to be dead, but Genu Go does. Uh, and since it did, uh, it has resigned uh, in a few moves later in the game. So all this is essentially dead now. Okay. So what we have, we have plus 68 points at the moment. Okay. And yeah, essentially, uh, after this move, after this move, yeah, this, this is this is the end of the game. After this move, Gene Go has resigned because it's realized, yeah, that uh, this group is dead, this group is dead, and yeah, just much better here. So this is the very first game that I managed to, uh, where, where I managed to bid Gene Hugo by resignation, believe it or not. So I'm really proud of this game, guys. Um, do you think, is this a done level thinking? <laughs> uh, if anyone who is a done level player, please let me know kindly in the commentaries. Uh, so is this thinking is really like 
better than the Q level thinking because well GNU Go is uh, considered to be like the sixth Q maybe or at OGS it plays around uh, eighth seventh Q it's not really sixth Q but rankings on OGS are a little bit lower than well if if Gini go if Gini go was playing on fox it would definitely be the sixth q i believe uh so yeah um so what do you think about this yeah i'm really wondering and uh by the time you're writing me a commentary i want to show you uh, a website where Gini go is essentially um presented so yeah let me just I go for Gene you go and let's go to the top. So here um yeah engine overview. So this is quite interesting. So uh engine overview uh it essentially tells you how the engine is working, what are the uh steps to evaluate the positions. Okay, so uh, it starts with gathering information. So yeah, you, you, you can just read through this. I can uh, explain this in like in my own words. So the idea is that um, it has a few modules. It has a module for uh, calculating tactical variations. It has a module, it's called tactical reading. It has a module for influence, uh, influence function. So uh, it also can. It also has some Fusaki code, Josaki code, and some patents. A database with patents like uh, where to put your stones in order to improve your influence. Also, there is a function that is similar to uh, the one that we have in the uh, in the GUI here. So the one that calculates influence. So those uh, dark areas is considered to be uh, blacks influence. Those white. Is considered to be a uh, uh, light uh, squares considered to be white influence, and you can already see that uh, from the perspective of the influence module. Although, well, for sure, for sure, the uh, influence module that is uh, available within the Sebaki GUI, which is the GUI I'm currently using, might be different as opposed to the one used in GNU Go. But generally, the algorithm to calculate the uh, Influence is essentially similar, and also there is a module called O code. O stands for two eyes, like uh, uh, meaning the two eyes of the O, probably. So O code uh, is another module. Uh, it's mentioned, yeah. The O code is another module that is um, uh, needed to evaluate whether a single group uh may make life or not. So that's essentially used for solving life and death problems. And also, finally, uh, the dragon, worms and dragon code. So uh, what they call a worm is uh, this, like, connected uh, group of stones. So this is the worm, this is the worm, and this is the worm, this is the worm. So influence evaluates how likely worms are uh, interacting with each other. Uh, life and death uh, okay, answers the question whether you can make life or not. And uh, the dragon code... Uh, either tries to kill the dragon if you can or to save the the dragon if you got trapped like in this case so uh but it was like too uh it was too late essentially to uh do something about the position yeah so it was just a little bit too late so the huge dragon was killed uh and and this happened uh because uh Let's say in this position, let's say in this position, right? So I think if white played this move, uh, it had a chance to try to fight, try to escape, try to, try to connect. Uh, I'm not sure if that would actually be possible because, uh, okay, no, 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 stop, stop, please, detach, uh, detach. So let's say if this move, uh, I don't know. So if I play here, trying to just connects and this this is fine. If uh if I play here, it just goes here and again here it just connects again. So you see like uh what else can I do? This here um again it just connects. So you see uh it just connects. Okay, and it just starts the attack here. So I think if only white played this move, yeah, 
then it would maybe not winning the game, but that would um, maybe even winning the game because yeah, in that case it, could, it can be much better. Uh, so yeah, it didn't play this move because it didn't realize that this entire group is in big danger, and it was considering some local advantages by playing this move, trying to grab some uh, territory on this side. So he didn't didn't realize this entire danger when he was playing this move. So this is the exact weakness that we can exploit when uh, training our done level thinking when playing against Gene Yugo. Because again, if you're just uh, trying to be Gene Yugo from the Q level thinking perspective, essentially doing the same things that the Gene Yugo does. So trying to play a Faseki, then try to play Josekis in the corner so that it follows the principles of the opening, then try to, you know, balance between the influence of the territory, uh, trying to make living groups where needed, trying to kill opponents living groups where needed, and very optionally, very very rarely trying to uh, kill opponents dragons. But mm, it's not trying to... Uh, what is interesting, that Jin Yugo is not trying to create those situations where uh, he thinks strategically uh, ahead in terms of, okay, I can sacrifice some small benefits at the moment, but I can have a big uh, thing like to win later on in the game. Genio Go cannot do that, but uh, Katago can do that because it's powered by the neural network. So that's the major difference between these two engines, essentially. So even when uh, Genio Go is playing versus the Apache engine, which, also, which is also the neural network-based one, but it's much weaker than Katago, uh, Gene Hugo usually doesn't resign. Uh, so Katago just manages to grab more territory, kill a couple of small group, a couple of small groups, but nothing much. But with Katago, what Katago loves to do, it just dominates all over the board. And interestingly, that as a human player, bearing in mind the algorithm how Gene Hugo is working, you may essentially try to practice that skill with Gene Hugo. This is not as easy with human players because, uh, yeah, human players most likely, I, I think even Q player would see this move, realizing that if he doesn't play that, that his entire dragon would die. But Gene Hugo doesn't. So this this is how you can make, uh, you know, this is how you can make, like, uh, use of it yeah so you can make use of the fact that uh it's sort of blind to some uh patterns to some situations some scenarios and this opens up the entire new horizon for for an improvement of your uh, playing strength style etc so essentially yeah just the style is just try to kill everything so yeah, i guess um i know i'm really proud of this game because this is the Katago inspired game, Katago style, if you can say, game. Uh, done level thinking, maybe. So, yeah, uh, again, if anyone, uh, done level players or maybe first Q level players uh, to OGS, is watching this, please kind of let me know what do you think uh, about this theory that I've just um, told you about, essentially. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.